What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to, well, I guess, again, the very first episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Let's press yes, just before we even start talking right here. So yes, guys, welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough, and yes, it's me, it's me, it's GLD, and all that stuff. Uh, a more, I would like to say, up-to-date version of me, yes. Now, you guys voted, and I am giving it to you. You guys voted yes on the reboot of Pokemon Stadium. That means from the Gym Leader Castle all the way to the other challenges right here. Now this, of course, this walkthrough will be week, uh, a weekday or a weekend only kind of event. I promise you it will only be a weekend only event because, yeah. But as you can see, guys, we do have two controllers right here with both my names and all that stuff. And, you know, I've been uh, I've been doing a little bit of, a, of work trying to get my team back together again for yellow version and all that stuff. And not only that, but uh, <laughs> I'm looking at blue version right here. And it's a little, it gives me a little bit of goosebumps because this is the old Draven XC711 Pokemon Blue walkthrough team. And, well, <laughs> I'm glad to have it back. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to use that cartridge. We're going to be using the yellow cartridge. And, uh, well, like I said in my community page as well, you guys had the choice of voting yes or no to restart this, but actually use Pokemon that I've used uh, in the, the last few walkthroughs that I've had. I mean, Kanto Pokemon. And you guys voted yes. So, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys what you guys want. So, let's go right ahead and uh, press that yes button right here. And, well, let's go straight into the Pokemon Stadium. Now, if you guys remember, Pokemon Stadium has a bunch of places to go to, like the stadium itself. Then you got the Kids Club. Then a free battle, if you guys are feeling like, uh, you know, you want to battle somebody here. And then, of course, you can play your Game Boy right here on the Game Boy Tower. Now, if you go a little bit further, this is the Pokemon Lab, which you will actually find all your files in the cartridge that you are playing. And the Victory Palace, which, of course, is the Hall of Fame. And, yes... Last but not least, the Gym Leader Castle, which of course you guys already know, we're going to be starting this up again. So let's go right ahead and press that button. And let's go. Okay, so here we are again in the Gym Leader Castle. This time we are going to be using every Kanto Pokemon we've used in the last few walkthroughs. That, that, that means Pokemon Yellow all the way to right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't think I've uh, updated anything else. I mean... Uh... We're going to be using Pokemon from Leaf Green. Yes, Aaliyah is going to be on this. Uh, Executmon, all those Pokemon. And hell, even Mew de Uno is going to be making an appearance right here. Now, the Gym Leader Castle is basically just like a Gym Leader uh, challenge right here in Pokemon Yellow, where you get to battle a few trainers and then get to take on the Gym Leader. But the only difference is that the levels are not going to be low. They match up to the strongest Pokemon that you have. Not only that, but... There are some rules. So let's go ahead and read these rules right here. So, the Gym Leader Castle rules state as, as the following right here. Open to all Pokemon. Enter with six Pokemon. Choose three out of the six Pokemon. No level restrictions. Opponents blow Pokemon levels. What the hell? Oh, wait. And then uh, no two Pokemon uh, asleep or frozen. And no self-destruct for the move, uh, move with the last Pokemon right here. So, what does this mean right here? No restrictions. Any Pokemon up to level 100 can be used. Three out of the six Pokemon, as you can see, out of six Pokemon chosen, choose three that are try or uh, that are to uh, to be used in the battle. Try to choose the three uh, the three battle Pokemon that have advantage over the likely opponents. Now, when you're battling anybody in this gym leader castle, it is at random. You don't know what Pokemon they're going to choose. You just get you just get an idea of what they have. That's why you have to acclimate to their, you know, to 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 everything that they have right here and of course let's go ahead into the no self-destruct rule if your po your last remaining pokemon uses self-destruct or explosion you lose even if the poke uh, the opponent's last pokemon faints so yeah that that right there is a <laughs> that right there sucks now open to all pokemon meaning all 151 
can play into this game right here. That means Mew de Uno as well. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's go with the registration right here. So, as of right now, in this first episode, we're going to be using my Pokemon Yellow team, which includes Sparky, Tank, Godzilla, Godzilla, Ultra Psycho, Thrasher, I believe there's one more, there's one more, and Hydra, yes. So let's go ahead and register these six Pokemon. Now, you can choose from uh, either cartridge that you put in. Of course, I have Pokemon Blue, but we're going to be using everything in Pokemon Yellow right here. And then, you know, I'm going to be training some Pokemon back and forth to Yellow because, yes, I still have to finish out the Pokedex. Somebody had challenged me. So let's go ahead and put in our Pokemon. That's right. And in every single episode, we are going to be uh, changing up our team, mixing and matching and all that stuff. There you go. All six Pokemon are ready. They are registered right here. Now, here's something about... Here is something about the Gym Leader Castle that you guys probably should know. Now, if you want to rent out Pokemon, the weird thing about it is that the final evolutionary Pokemon are not really the strongest. They are technically strong in their own sense of stats and all that stuff, but they don't have the strongest moves. Actually, the strongest moves go to their, their second and third, uh, or this, their, their pre-evolutions and all that stuff, which is kind of weird. So, in this episode right here, we're going to be taking on Gym Leader Brock in his castle. As you can see, he does have Trainer uh, Bug Boy, Lad, Junior Male, and of course himself, Brock. So, here we go. We're going to be going with our register set right here. That's right, Draven, Thrasher, Tank, Ultra Psycho, Godzilla, Godzilla, and Sparky and Hydra. Let's go right ahead and uh, start this whole thing up right here. Now, throughout the whole adventure right here, guys, I will be changing up moves, sets, and everything. I will be picking different kinds of Pokemon and all that stuff. As you can see, Homeboy here has a bunch of uh, a bunch of Bug type Pokemon, so this is going to be an easy battle right here. So I'm just going to go with Godzilla. That's right. And, well, we gotta, well, you know what, let's go right ahead and uh, screw around a little. Let's go with uh, Sparky and, well, Hydra for the, uh, for, you know, for the last one right there. We don't necessarily have to worry about anything. So here we have Godzilla, Godzilla, looking like a beast. And uh, here comes uh, a <laughs> Beedrill right here. Now, as I, as I explained earlier, guys, Every single Pokemon here is based off the strongest Pokemon on your team. If you have a level 80 Pokemon, they will have a level 80 Pokemon. So just make sure to match all your Pokemon's levels. And as you can see, bam, flamethrower for the win. Suck it, B-Dry. Oh yeah, he's not kidding. He's not kidding. Okay, wild one from the word go. And here he comes out with a Kakuni. Or Kakuna in all sense of the word right here. So let's go right ahead and go with a flamethrower attack. Finish him. Alrighty, flamethrower. Godzilla, Godzilla. Destroying. Now, some of you guys are wondering, am I going to use another Godzilla and another Thrasher since I actually include them in Pokemon Leaf Green? That is a big no. The only other duplicate Pokemon that I will be using is a Pikachu because there's one male, one female. Of course, Generation 1 hasn't come out with any male or female genders or anything like that, so. We're just going to be using Aaliyah and Sparky for the time being, and look at this. Oh, uh, yeah, super effective. A clean sweep of this Bug-type Pokemon trainer. Oh, yeah. Trust me, guys, it gets harder. It gets really, really hard along the way. So there it is, guys. A clean sweep for our Godzilla Godzilla. Now, if none of your Pokemon faint, you will get an extra life going into this gym challenge right here. So look at that. We win. Suck it, Bug Boy. And yes, we are going to continue right here. And uh, who's next? We got Lad right here. And Homie is a poison type trainer. So finally, a little bit of a challenge right here. So what we're going to do, he does have a bug type. So let's go with Ultra Psycho first. And then we got Godzilla, Godzilla. And well, let's go ahead and finish it off with Rasher right here. Now, more than likely, I might not be using Sparky very much into this because we all know what happened the last time we used Sparky in all in Pokemon uh, Stadium. Not too well. So here we have a Gloom. Still a poison type Pokemon, but guess what? Ultra Psycho. Looking like a beast. Still the strongest Pokemon. Still fast and all that stuff. Now, speed is everything in this game here too, guys. So just, uh, <laughs> just be aware of that. And look at that. Critical hit. Takes care of Gloomy. 
just like that. Alrighty, okay, so bring it. Who's next? Who is next? And here comes Adi. Oh, jeez, okay, so, uh... <laughs> This is going to be a, a, an easy this one right here. Okay, let's go. Psychic attack for the win again. Here we go. Psychic finish him. Whoa, and like a look at that. Sure. Adi has been defeated. Take it down with <laughs> it's looking like another clean sweep right here, guys. There's again, <laughs> the yeah, again it, it, it doesn't get easier along the way, guys. Trust me. I, I'm just, oh, you know, it. going off the team that I, I, I built during Pokemon Yellow. Your and then you're going to be seeing some different ones right here, too. So one. let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Psychic attack time. for the win. A oh, yes. Back. Looking at. So Say goodbye to Ekasi. Now, a lot of these Pokemon trainers have different kind of nicknames and all that stuff. It's kind of weirder, but it is what it is. And look at that. Ultra Psycho for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So, <laughs> a clean sweep yet again. Try not to get cocky because we all know what happens on the third try right here. So, that is another victory for us. One step closer to Brock, and well, here we are going to be taking on the Junior, and the third battle is always the toughest one because they always throw out, uh, you know, they always throw out a, a nugget right there, so, let's see, I got the person for this, that's right, we're going to be going with, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and put Sparky just in case right here. Now, I could have taught my Pokemon Surf, but uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, for a little bit later on. So here we have Hydra. Welcome back, Hydra. And here we have Shrant. I don't even know what that is, but it's a, sand a Sandshrew right here. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead with the Surf attack and finish all of these people off. And of course, it's being covered by, you know, an Ice type attack and an Electric type attack right here. And look at that. Takes out Trent. Oh yeah. <laughs> from the word go. That's right. Okay. From the word go. Oh my god, and here we go with another Pokemon, Fetchant. And it is Farfetch. Now, he did have two flying type Pokemon, so luckily for us, we did cover ourselves with this. Let's go with a Thunderbolt. Let's make Quackwer the Foul. Looking like a, well, pretty much Quackwer the Foul right here. And look at that, super effective. Now, nearly makes this guy faint, and oh crap. Oh crap! Coming out with a Toxic attack. Now, that right there is bad because Toxic gets stronger every single attack. But if we make the Pokemon faint, it won't affect us. So right now, we're in the clear. As, as long as we just make this guy faint, that is great. And look at that. Critical hit. Say goodbye to Fichette. <laughs> wow. Kind of feel bad for beating him just like that. So Okay, so here we have one more Pokemon. And it is Jugster. Okay, alrighty, Dugster. You will be defeated right here with a Surf Attack, and well, it is faster than us, and here comes a Rock Slide Attack. And yes, that is the weak spot right there, but guess what? We got the Surf Attack, so hopefully right here we win with one hit, and that is super effective, and that takes him out. Say goodbye to Dugster. So we finally get hit once. And uh, I'm throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. So there it is, guys. Three trainers down, and we got Brock to go. So that was pretty easy right there. That was very, very easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue right here. And take on Gym Leader Brock. And as you can see, he does have a nice variety of Pokemon. Now, this is something that you need to keep in, uh, keep in mind. He does have two fossil Pokemon that are both water and a rock type Pokemon. He's got himself Vulpix, which of course is weak to water type Pokemon. Cubone, also rock type, kind of maybe ground type, yeah. And then he's got Onyx and Graveler. So the for sure thing is, good God. You know what? I think I know. We're gonna start off with this and then keep keep Hydra as the, the secret weapon and all that stuff. So here we go, coming out with Thrasher. Look at this guy. And of course, he comes out with a Cubone. Cubone bone. Look at that. Okay, Cubone, say hello to my bubble beam. My bubbly. Time for the bubbly. Chris Jericho style right here, bubbly. 
And that was super effective. Not enough, but still super effective right here. And here comes a body slam. And good guy, we are paralyzed right here. So that right there could be uh, could be trouble for us. If you guys haven't noticed, we can't use any kind of uh, healing items to actually heal our Pokemon right here. Now, he is actually moving on from Cubone, and he's going to be switching it up right here to Omanyte, which is okay because... I do have a move for this Pokemon right here, and here comes a Bubble Beam, and it was a critical one. Speed has fallen, but still doesn't mean that we're faster, so let's go right ahead with an Earthquake attack right here. And here comes a Surf attack from Omanyte. Oh god, okay, so Brock has been doing his homework right here, and uh, oh crud. <laughs> we nearly had a clean sweep, and this guy screwed us over, so... Well, let's go Ultra Psycho, mainly because its special attack is just badass. It's just up there, especially in Gen 1. Oh yes, Gen 1 is uh, usually <laughs> the, the, the league of broken uh, broken moves right here. And here we go, Psychic Attack finishes Omni off. Bendo Straw, or Bendy's, uh, Bendy's Spoons, and good god Omni has survived, and here comes a Surf Attack. Now, technically it is a special attack, not a physical one, and so we can actually just go ahead and go with a Psychic Attack right here just to finish this guy off, so let's go Psychic Attack for the win! Oh yes, say goodbye to Omanyte. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, so he's got one Pokemon down, he's got another one to go, he might be going for Cubone right here, right? Nope, going for Onyx, and... He shouldn't be a problem at all. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a psychic attack right here. So we are faster. Take a look at these uh, these uh, spoons right here. Look at them bend, and that right there is a hard hit. And say goodbye to Onyx. <laughs> okay, so you guys might be saying that this is a broken Pokemon. You're not incorrect because yeah, this is Pokemon Stadium and Generation One, but <laughs> you know that's the way it is. Sometimes, and so, let's go right ahead, Psychic Attack, for the win, finish him! Oh yes, look at this. And Cubone, no more. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Stage is cleared, and look at that guys, we get ourselves our first badge right here into the Gym Leader Challenge, and, well, there goes Brock, big ol' X, I am happy, and what happens next? Well, one of our Pokemon fainted, so yeah, we got ourselves a clear right here. So, after winning our first badge, we are now opening the, or we, we receive a key to go to Misty's Tower. So the next episode, we will be taking on the Cerulean City Gym. And, uh, yeah, we will be switching up our Pokemon in the next episode. Again, guys, you guys have voted for me to basically change it up with my Pokemon team. Use every Kanto Pokemon that I've used in every single walkthrough. So trust me, guys, it's going to get interesting in the next uh, episode right here. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.